You ever take a shit and afterwards your pants fit better? What's up machine freaks? Welcome to another 3D Machines production. I guess I'm getting smarter. I don't feel like it, but I'm off to the dentist today to get my wisdom teeth removed. I have four. I'm only getting one out today. But two nights ago, I had severe jaw pain. My whole bottom jaw was killing me. They suggested that it was one tooth, and it's just coming in Mach 90 sideways, pushing everything out of sorts. No good. I had to wake up to this bullshit today. I had to clean off the truck, couldn't just take off. We're in April. We're still getting snow. A lot of you guys are saying, oh, your videos are old. There's still snow on the fucking ground. Yep, we're still getting snow. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, why the frick are you in the Nissan right now? Why are you driving the Duramax? The Duramax is currently off the road. The Nissan stays on until April 12th, I believe. The Nissan will come off. The Duramax will go on. And I'm really not looking forward to putting the Duramax on in this type of weather. Not yet. It's, it's a southern truck. It's got some open wounds. And once you put salt in those wounds, unlike if you're a human, you know, it cleanses that out. But no, if you're a, a vehicle and you're made out of metals, especially steel, start putting salt in those wounds and you got cancer. You guys were saying, oh, should have bought a Ford, should have bought a Cummins. Well, Come on, there's three diesels to pick from for the most part. I didn't want to Dodge because I didn't want the wheel wells rusting out. I didn't want the body to take a shit on me, so I didn't buy a Dodge. A Cummins would have been nice. For now, this is just an update. I'll talk more about how I bought the truck and, and exactly how I did it in another video. Oh, yeah, that's nice. inside the bushing that the bolt goes through one of them was actually cracked and then the other three were fine but come on let's go take a few grips and then you don't grip try to get somewhere on time and it, nope weather gets in my way oh my god you guys see that i went completely sideways and there's a car coming my drifting skills though kicked in take on a mechanical task I don't look into it or anything I just look at the front look at what we're dealing with and just go for it well the Chevy is kind of more of a truck than the Nissan believe it or not so I went to the form and I was like you know let's check out what people are doing for lower control arms while well, everybody's saying ah that shit's bullshit go ahead and buy a whole new lower control arm and I'm like well I can get bushings 44 bucks shipped to my house and that's that's overnight so we can do it because the weather was getting crappy like it is today and I wanted to get them in that day yep here we go again yep yep drifting right around this corner Nissan Jake's out carrier coach bus all over the news the lower control arms were going to be a hell of a lot more expensive than just 44 bucks delivered the next day to my house like come on the bushings can't be that difficult well I'll tell you what buy the whole fucking arm because you need all sorts of equipment. Oh, someone went in the ditch. Oh, got to take care of him. That's good. Oh, we got another cop. We got two cops doing this job, boys. Look at, I'm going, I'm going 30 miles an hour drifting out. If I gunned her right now, I could probably do a complete, yep, just drifting. 30 miles an hour and now I can't stop now I'm going into the shoulder okay okay we're good let's throw in the old four high just for shits come on he's not get us there got the grip to get the old bushings out what we had to do is get a ball joint remover and just crank that sucker until the bushing came out. And we used a socket for the back end because 
as you guys, if you guys have ever worked on ball joints, as you know, the ball joint remover always seems to be an inch too short. This is ugly. Easy pass, what's easy pass? I don't got one of them, I'm not a sophisticated individual. Nobody's here, that's wonderful. Is nobody really here? Are you kidding me? Just go? Whatever, I'm just gonna go. That's probably illegal. So I'm just gonna go up to them and be like, yeah, I don't have a ticket, nobody was there. That's gonna go over real well. When I drove my diesel from Florida all the way to New York, didn't hit a single toll until it says, welcome to New York. Not a single toll. Okay, I can't say that. There was one in West Virginia for the tunnels, but I can understand the tunnels. I'm sure those things were like millions and millions of dollars, maybe even hundreds of millions of dollars. Right now, I just want to tell you guys that it's off the road. It's it's all back together. It's just every nut and bolt on the front end is loose, but it's, it's intact. A lot of you guys shared your opinions in the comment section. And a lot of you guys were wondering, are you going to tune it or are you going to chip it? As of right now, the answer is no. As you guys know, once you soup up your engine, well then your tranny can't keep up with the horsepower. So then you go through a tranny. And then your diff goes. You have to rebuild everything when you want more power under the hood. So as of right now, no. Because this roll coal. To an extent, it does roll coal. But one of the LD, he just bought a Cummins. And he's got that thing souped up. That thing rolls full for days. Holy shit. He, he can go hundreds of yards and that thing just throws it out. He's getting like three miles a gallon though. Actually, a few people said this. Put like a four inch tip on it. Well, tips are cute and all, but if you run a five inch straight exhaust, why put a four inch tip on it? In the hills of West Virginia in those tunnels, oh my goodness. It sounded so beautiful. How's it going? Hey, I was at the Eden exit and nobody was there. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah.